Hogwarts Legacy is a big game that provides a variety of options for battle style, dialogue, end of the story, but some options can objectively and unnecessarily prevent the game. Regardless of whether they first entered Hogwarts, they had some magic classes, each student had to strive for everything they can to avoid these mistakes in their game. Of course, as with any open-world RPG, there is no absolute right or wrong way to play. Students have complete freedom to take risks in any way they see fit. However, some players, especially young witches and wizards who will be playing Hogwarts Legacy, may make mistakes that inadvertently slow down progress or make situations more difficult than necessary. Avoiding these mistakes will make their experience in the wizarding world easier and more enjoyable. 7. Ignore dueling feats. With the game's complex yet still satisfying combat system, players often develop a narrow view of their opponents and are unaware of the specifics of Hogwarts Legacy duels. This extra mechanic appears in the lower right corner of the UI during battle and is easy to overlook, but it can be an effective way to earn extra XP or even get some exclusive gear. Generally, all dueling feats require a spell or two to convert, so students should try to incorporate these small challenges into their combat routine. 6. Poor spell organization can make traditional Hogwarts battles difficult. Of course, a witch or wizard's most powerful tool is their wand, so players must use the best spells from the Hogwarts Legacy to get ahead in battle. But even when players have a solid understanding of the type of magic they use, they can do themselves a disservice by misorganizing their spell collection. A total of four sets containing up to 16 different spells can be unlocked at the end of the game. By assigning the same spelling type to the same space in each spelling set, students use their muscle memory. 5. Inefficient use of Revelio slows down research. Revelio is one of the first spells the main character learns in the Hogwarts Legacy, and its value cannot be understated stated but some players may not take full advantage of this beneficial tool. An important mechanism to note is that the volume and spatial positioning of Revelio's audio signals is related to the item of interest in the game. For example, when searching the field guide pages in Hogwarts Legacy, the louder the beat, the closer the page is to the student's current location. Also, it may not be immediately clear whether Revelio can actually be used while flying a broom. During this time, its range will increase so much that the wand's wave will reveal sights miles away. Instead of moving around on foot and constantly using this spell, players can simply use it once per slot to pinpoint a nearby Merlin sample, shopkeeper, dungeon, etc. location. 4. Sticking to Hogwarts Legacy gear was a mistake. Due to the convenience of the transmogrification system, the grappler is one of the biggest weaknesses of Hogwarts Legacy. When a student picks up a piece of gear for the first time, its appearance is permanently added to their collection, meaning they can easily style their character at any time and change the look of their gear at the same time. Combined with the extremely limited inventory they start with, players need to sell as much of any gear they don't currently have equipped as possible, which both makes money and saves inventory space. 3. Not using plants puts traditional Hogwarts players at a disadvantage. Herbal medicine isn't every student's forte, but they don't have to use the game's ridiculously powerful herbs. Once they've unlocked the requirement room, growing greens is as easy as pressing a few buttons. While some magical plants are better for potions, others, such as mandrake or Chinese cabbage, are practically invaluable weapons in battle. Given how quickly they can be pulled out and thrown away, there's really no reason not to use them offensively, especially considering that one of Hogwarts heirloom plants is stronger than the Unforgiven Curse. 2. Over-upgrading can break the game. One of the most pressing problems in almost all RPGs is over-leveling, and unfortunately the wizarding world hasn't gotten rid of it either. Exploring Hogwarts is probably the most exciting aspect of the game but it can cause witches and wizards to accidentally stray from the entire main mission, becoming too powerful earlier than intended. It sounds good, but some players might find Hogwarts Legacy story boring if they were to take down every enemy without much difficulty. To avoid this, students should postpone most of their research until they have made adequate progress in the main task. An effective way to measure this is through the change of seasons. As the game moves into the fall, the risk of them being overmatched will decrease significantly. 1. Hogwarts inherited talent points should not be used carelessly. However, the most serious flaw in Hogwarts Legacy is the lack of effective talent development. It's easy to overlook that these points are limited and non-refundable, meaning players won't be able to reset their talent trees, nor will they be able to access all available perks. For this reason, it is critical that they plan their talent build before pouring points into unnecessary categories. This is a completely irreversible decision, aside from starting a new save, so if witches and wizards aren't careful, it can quickly ruin their Hogwarts Legacy game. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and support my channel.